What is up YouTube people? Kudum Loy here coming at you with another exciting video and continuing with my best bang for the buck product picks. This is the Amagabelli 7 inch chainmail stainless steel scraper. I think it's what it's called. Uh, but basically you get an idea of the size. It's 7 inches by 7 inches like a perfect square. Uh, and honestly that's about the size. It's about right for the pan. So what makes this thing awesome? You can use this to, this is like a last resort before you go to soap and water to clean out a carbon steel pan, like a lodge, you know, heavy duty skillet or like a mat fur, you know, you, you kind of get the idea, any kind of carbon steel pan. You can also use this on stainless steel. So stainless steel, no problem. Just, you know, use it on, use it with a stainless steel pan and then go ahead and follow up with soap and water, like in that, in that respect. What I would not use this on would be any kind of traditional non-stick pan or non-stick cookware. And the reason why is because if you, if you use this to scrape off some sticky bits on a non-stick pan, what's going to happen is you run the risk of lifting up the non-stick coating like the Teflon or, you know, whatever non-stick ceramic stuff they decide to use, which would in essence destroy the non-stick pan. So don't use it on, on those types of pans. But let me show you a, a real world example. So in this pan, I cooked up some green beans and there's some like sticky bits in here. Um, this is a light, this is a light, you know, stickage. I normally I would use like an onion and some olive oil to clean this out. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you on this little bit right here how this works. So dry, no water, no soap, no nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there and just one finger, just touch, just rub, 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 rub. I can feel that it released. And then what I want to do is I want to follow up with a towel and some oil to kind of get the shininess back. And there you go. My sticky bit is now gone, right? You get the idea. So it is a more milder abrasive, let's say. Uh, in the case where I had a pan that was like DEFCON 5, super sticky, usually that happens when you when you mix two oils together. Like if you mix coconut oil and olive oil, or if you mix like olive oil and canola oil, or, you know, that kind of a vibe, you'll get this sticky residue. In that case, uh, what I would do is try using vinegar first to clean out the stickiness. That will strip out your pan seasoning. Um, and if, if that should work, <laughs> but in the event that you don't want to go through the hassle of reseasoning your pan, you could always try to use this dry and just, it takes a lot more elbow grease, slow and steady wins the race. Uh, but eventually it'll work. And if it doesn't work and you, you know, like I said, if you're at the point where you have to put soap and water in here, you might as well use vinegar first because vinegar will definitely strip away and just vinegar on a clean towel and just, you know, slowly wipe don't pour the vinegar in. Like I said, paper towel, a little bit of vinegar, and just wipe, 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 wipe. That should relieve some of the sticky bits. But anyways, Amagabelli stainless steel chainmail carbon steel pan scraper. This thing is amazing. Highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's been good to me. I, I've rarely had to use it. That's probably why it's been so good to me. But it does work. Just know that it does work. It's great. Um, there's a link to it in the description below and guess what else is below the subscribe button and the like button. So I'm Kuda Malloy. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more best bang for the buck product reviews and I will catch you guys on the next one.